maybe through a mirror to see maybe the wheel of some sort might have a larger view at us to uh, possibly get a get a bullet through our heads as I'm sure she would like to do let's go up there I don't know it's probably a horse piece it's a long ways down This is bad. Clearly, I wonder if she knows where we are now. Oh. I thought I pressed a button. But maybe I didn't. I will be ready for the next one. Famous last words. I, I literally... Bruh, I keep pressing the buttons, dude. Where are you? Come out and face me. Oh, she's right behind us. Oh. Bruh, that's so cool. We're about to get fucked. We're not in our fully Maggie Evolved form. I don't really know why we keep doing that. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, it's the one that gets progressively worse. Ah! There we go. There we go. We didn't get thrown into the to the thing. My finger hurts, but uh, that's fine. Hello. Hello? Wait, hello? It is I. I see. Oh, and by the way, bruh. Bruh. Yep. I've said that way too many times today. Yeah, we're in the fight before the final boss yeah. fight, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or this might be the final fight, I'm not sure. But yeah, we're facing Bloody be... Mary. Nice. I'm gonna be streaming around nine. Uh, some more Danganronpa. Okay. I gotta gotta turn down the uh, volume of the. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna resume. We're fully Mega Evolved now. Oh, I just realized how much I fucked up. I'll be right back. I was gonna say, yeah, you're kinda... Oh. Wait, your mic is so much quieter. There's no way I'd be able to hear you over the game audio. Okay, try again. How's this? That's good. This game is still super loud, never mind. I was plugged into... I was using my uh, desktop. Uh, even though my good mic was plugged into my laptop. Yeah. A little more delay on the screen though. Why are we even fighting 10 million of these things? Like, obviously... Bruh. No, you can't do that. Which one's the actual one? It's probably me none of them. Bloody Mary, you double team. Yeah, I know, like actually. It's super effective. It's yes. No. It's time to Maggie evolve even more. Wait, wait, holy crap. We're actually a wolf now. Oh. 
Holy crap. Yes, you're very quiet. It's because, like, when people okay. talk, like, in the game, I don't want them to, like, not be heard. But, like, the normal audio is the same thing, if that makes any sense. No, my, my output volume is at, uh... Well, no, my, I have you on 200%. Yeah, I it's have just that on. no. The thing I have with my input volume at hundred. So. My thing with this game is like, when people talk, I don't want like the stream to miss it. Oh no, it sounds good now. It sounds good. It sounds good. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be quiet. Then. I guess I was accidentally comparing it to your voice here, not your voice on the stream. Yeah. Okay. I might actually turn up the game audio just a little bit yes i know we're in the middle of a boss fight crazy and i'm adjusting audio this is just how good i am at video games wow you thought that would work can we just like like, they're all co they're coming out too quickly. Can we just, like, use an attack that gets uh, all of them away? Wait. Oh, there we go. There they all go. His his mouth his mouth is just full of blood. Yeah. That's so like disgustingly cool. Oh, we're like the Hulk. We just go completely. All of our clothes are off. Yep. Hmm. Achievement unlocked, a silver bullet. You know he has a gun with him. Come on now. Hello, baby. And where's I Bloody Mary? I just that is literally just Give ripped from TF2. Give me one reason not to yeah. rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. <laughs> now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark. And you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Hmm. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's the plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. Hmm. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right You now. won't be alive! <laughs> anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Really? Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I really don't. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. Yeah, but you and ordered I it. Know that. All I'm asking for is a chance 
to explain my side of the story. Then what are you? Not a killer? Then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. You're a businessman that There's ordered killing. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And really? I you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned. It's justice. Come do on you now. The truth? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Yes. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. Come on. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather let's not go. Dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it. If you don't mind. What do you say? No. Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. Hmm. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I love how you can just be like the biggest, at most absolute dickhead. Yeah. If you want to. I feel like the results aren't as good if you decide to be an absolute dick in this game. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Motherfucker. How is he gonna gonna convince this whole town that he doesn't deserve the wishing hours. well? We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I didn't kill him. I'm just Glad you made it back in one piece. Do you see my sure. face? Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. What are you what waiting you for? You for murderer! My you killed Lily. She was my wife. Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to you people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but. Considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to... He gave the order. Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. He well, wasn't behind it. Georgie was a victim of this psycho too. He was pushed into the whole thing and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that doesn't need change this. anything. Exactly. I'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order. 
inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. How is that a misunderstanding? Monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Let's just be Now, is there anything quiet. you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. I shouldn't have said that. A chance to talk. Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where house. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those False. Men. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! He was always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. It was you a trap. Being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I have protected them. You understand Bull. wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You There's a fine an innocent man. Just to save someone. They didn't want to protect about? you. Yeah, they right. were scared they of you. Because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions. That's not Georgie was. it, though. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't- Exactly. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yeah, just so you could take control of them. Yes, but wasn't I? That was Crane. That was not let us. This town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands everything that matters anyway with nowhere else to turn she came to me for help and what did i do for you you got my tree back i got her tree back and in turn we used her magic to help poor fables get blessed. that's still because i helped her she was able to make a living provide no. for herself what and what did they do 
For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want Snow that? isn't to blame. Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope exactly. for a better life. Exactly. Come on, people. He would people. go to him for help. And he would take that weakness He never cared about any of you. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're exactly. all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. I don't think that's actually the true. It doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie birth. was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. What do you mean? Just of mean. course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me. Yes, because you called the shots. Yes, of course. Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't... I made a mistake. What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He was attacking me, and I... I just acted. I didn't think. That's the only reason? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? Yes, How no, you really should have said that. Tweedle D when he was in your custody. He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that You're go? the one on trial. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And therefore, to... you were in charge. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. This I isn't just... This isn't the murder of those two girls. Never happened. This George is for him trapping of all of Fable Town. They won't escape goat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. laws apply when we need them. To. Bluebeard, please. <laughs> Bluebeard, okay, you're literally the most be afforded to unlogical person yes. ever. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. 
We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? That was all Crane, you, and Crane was under you. Mindless children, you can't say that. Stupid to command your own destiny. You Help can't me. use that logic. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me. I, I wanted to make sure I had the chance. She's to about to turn this all around for us. Catch your breath What's what? she doing here? Let her speak. I'd like to. I, I need to say something. Let her speak. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Because guess what happened? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did we should We should just blame it on... Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie. Exactly. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. This, this just confirms, confirms it. it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. Yikes. So that's it, right? Run down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take He's two people's nothing. lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What, what did, did you, you expect that? to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anyone. Greenleaf. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. No. Somewhere he can never no. Hurt anyone again. No. That How doesn't can we be sure work. He won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. No. Not good enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? Let's... You should let's... have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people oh, want, shit. Miss White. It's the... Okay. What the people want. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. If it's what the people so, want. Just do what you think is right. I know what I think is right. Yes, Sheriff. We're throwing them down the well. Right. Come on now. It's you by far the risk. Not this way. Nah, nah, you can't do that. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to. Start. We're throwing him down the well. Miss me. Goodbye. No, I won't.
he deserved that. He was hold, hold, holding so many people under his ropes. Now people can speak and act freely. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Is that game? Achievement unlocked. The north wind blows. The woodland luxury apartments. One one day later. Excuse me. Jeez. I wonder what type of closure we're gonna get since there was a sequel hey, promised for this uh game. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Hmm. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Jeez. Well... I wonder who's going off to the farm. I think, uh, Toad. I think we gave him enough money to find a glamour. So, uh, hopefully he's not going off to the farm. Never mind, they're going off to the farm. Why? Oh, Garland, Jesus. I thought. I thought we gave them money. Carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. I thought we gave them enough money for glamours. It's been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Come on, Colin. <laughs> Bro, this I'm dude. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. <laughs> Wait, Bruh. Sheriff Bigby, I have something. Oh, no, did I say that? You know, yeah. he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. <laughs> That's a it's a one. bug. They're cool because when they're little, <laughs> they have these pouches that squirt juice at you. If oh, okay. You really didn't need to say that part. <laughs> she said it was pretty. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard the ogres pig? live there, and, and they eat people what? in their sleep. So said the fuck is the pig? Colin, he was crashing on a. On Bigby's couch for like the whole game. But the thing is, if you don't have a glamour Sometimes that makes you look like a human, you have to go out much. to the farm Do now. We have to go. I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. <laughs> yeah, Even you don't have to. Daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday scene. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. It 
won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals are... <laughs> some of the animals are uncomfortable so around us. Would no, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. We gave them the money, but Snow didn't allow them to stay. That sucks. And now we're gonna get closure with Colin. Are you still mad at me? Would it change your mind? You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last time? Give him the pack. Apparently these are really cheap. <laughs> he just grabs the pack of cigarettes with his mouth. Thanks, Big B. <laughs> Always a gentleman, aren't you, Big B? I guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble. When I'm not okay? fucking people up, if you I am. Can. See you around. See you around. Maybe sooner than you think. Oh no, that's definitely foreshadowing. Achievement unlocked. Grandmaster Librarian? Saying goodbye? Oh, it's Narissa. Finally doesn't have stripper clothes on. Hi. Hi. She still has that ribbon still on. Still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. It's true. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. You have something. to let it go. What is oh it? my god. It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh no. I'm not sure where to start. This is gonna be... <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Oh my god. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. Wait, Nerissa? They kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Nerissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You wait. What? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just yeah, he trying was to just, protect She them. was just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. And clearly the crooked man didn't work that way. Oh god. <laughs> it's okay. We clearly know what happened. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us we're sitting there as he was telling me this. Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie. Oh my God! Wait. So Georgie told you all this, not the crooked man. Back at the well, you said. I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. I mean, we so all know he it did wasn't it. The whole truth. It was true enough. It was guess, for the best. Yes, it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at... Oh my, my god. I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe so I, would I notice. couldn't save them. You were trying to get my attention. So you, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. 
People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked this man time. was counting on that. That didn't when happen. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith hmm. or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Marissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. We will try like the best. No matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. It's huh. true. Things are always different. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none oh, of this the real happen. username. You I don't know how long, no it, or even good. if you're still watching. You he was he was here. He he you sent that a while ago. I saw that. You brought justice. Yeah, ex you should have told me. Dang it. Finally. I, if you're you sorry, if you're still here, I'm sorry I didn't see that. My, really the chat's like literally, so I don't see the chat. I was really invested in this game, but if you're still here, I play gently. I do not play brutal. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place, for better or worse. Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. I mean, that's what the big bad wolf does. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's the exact same thing Faith said. Hmm. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait. I'll see you around. Wolf. So, did... So the thing is, at the end there, it kind of seems like maybe that was Faith with a Nerissa Glamour on or something like that. But then again... Was that the end of the game? That's the end of the game. They, yeah. they, they leave it on a cliffhanger for the second game. I guess. All right. Player choices. What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% of players killed Georgie. Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. There's an Only option. 38% threw the Crooked Man down the witching path. Well, there's, there's three options. Did you, I'm surprised. I, I didn't most, even know there was an option. Most of them bit what? their head off. Yeah, there... I'm surprised that rip his head off, I should say. I'm surprised that there was even an option to kill him. How would you punish the crooked man? You and thirty eight point six percent of players threw the crooked man down the witching well. I think that was the best way to deal with him. I wanted him dead because everyone would have had some <laughs> Except the gift for Snow. Apparently like, uh Yeah. Apparently, 1.5% of p players are were heartless dicks. bastards. Yeah. So, I think if the wolf... What message does that send if the wolf just rips off the guy's head right in there? I think throwing him down the witching well is a much better way to do it. Do you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 98.5% of players decide to accept TJ's gift for snow. And what were your last words to Nerissa? You and... 54.8% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. Out of three options. Hmm. So. Oh, special stats. 
Okay. Uh, Beauty, you impressed with your detective. You impressed her with your detective skills. Butcher, you offered him a position at the business office. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment, and he sent Colin to the farm. Crooked man, you took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Dumb, you killed him. <laughs> Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. I completely forgot the woodsman is a character. <laughs> Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Jack, you made a deal with him. Lawrence, you went to his place first, and you prevented him from dying. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. Jeez, that was a long time ago. And you promised to bring the crooked man back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. Um, TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Tiny Tim is not a fairy tale character. Yeah, I don't know. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him for the farm and you gave him money. Yet, he still ended up going to the farm. And that's it. That's the game. Holy crap. Good game. GG. Continue the story. Pick up a graphic novel today. So these graphic novels. However... Or you could just wait for the next game. You could just wait for the next game, which comes out either late 2020 or early 2021. Which... I'm really excited for, I'll be honest. I thought it said holiday 2020. Sounds about right. Anyways, that's it.